Hey, Jacob. What's up? Jacob is my assistant. I was on the toilet about... <laughs> okay, I'm going to start this over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start it with, I was on the toilet. Uh, about two months ago. Yeah. Two months ago, I was sitting down. I was like taking a nice bathroom break. And Jacob was just cleaning the floors. And outside the door, I hear a humming, a little sing song. And I, I'm sitting there, right? So I crack open the door and I go, hey, sounds pretty good, man. You should probably record some time. And then I shut the door. And that was that. So about a month ago, um, he sent a text message with some voice memos. I, I think you were like scared to death to send them. Yeah, I was really nervous. I, I sent it to someone else first because I knew that person would be forced to say nice stuff because they were a nice person. <laughs> and I knew you were really honest. So I was a little scared. Yeah, so he sent me these voice memos and they were like three different songs, three different covers of you singing in your, in your car. Yeah. Yeah. And I heard them and I literally, I was like, what the frick? I was like, is this you? Yeah, that, it was weird. It was weird. I feel like we got to back this up for context. All right, back it up. Context. Back it up. Okay. I have worked for Tyler for a little over a year. Yeah. A little over a year. And it was very random. Like, explain a day-to-day for a second. Like what goes on now? Yeah, like what do you do? What do you okay. do? For the last year, what have you done? Okay. I stain a lot of fences and anything that's just made of wood, I stain it. That's pretty much... Job one. <laughs> Job two is just kind of taking care of stuff around the house. I'm, I'm basically like Tyler's mom. Right? I don't let him touch my, I don't let him touch my uh, uh, underwear or laundry. No, that, <laughs> which I'm grateful for. But other than that, I take care of everything else. Um, so I've been doing that for a little over a year. And it all started because uh, for a while I was living on the road. For about three months, I lived out of my truck called a struggle bus. And it was very beat up, dented. I'd rolled it off a highway once and it had a lot of cracks all over it. And uh, <laughs> I just traveled around the country for a while. And my last stop was here in Nashville. Yeah. I'd never been to Nashville. And I was coming to visit a friend and then I met Tyler and we bonded over heartbreak. Bonded over heartbreak. <laughs> and uh, he told me on my second day here, which was also my last day here visiting, he was like, you should just move here. You should just, just come out this just way. Just move to Nashville. So I said, well, sure, why not? So three <laughs> weeks later, I had a place. And I was moved in, and I had like 50 bucks. And so I really needed a job, and we had like a brunch. Yep. And um, you were looking to have someone else come on to the team, and I was like, hey, I'll give you a week. We can test things out, and if it works out, it works out. And yeah. it did, and it's led to here. And it was cool because I was like, oh, you take pictures, you can film video, you can do some things you know, around like the entertainment space. But primarily, I just need someone to kind of take care of the house, take care of the dogs, take care of the yard. And... We, we became really, really close friends. And there was a season in my life where I think it was very intentional you were in my life because I went through some, in 2020, I'm sure all of us hit some sort of depression, but it was really, really dark for me. It was kind of a pivotal moment. And I think without Jacob, I don't know where I'd be. So it was pretty cool. That's sweet. Yeah, that's sweet. So anyways, flash forward to a couple months ago, I'm sitting there, I'm like, he sounds pretty good. He sends me these voice memos. And I listened and I was like, wow, this is really good. We should get you in the studio sometime. Thinking we should get you in the studio sometime. And I bet, like, what were you feeling at that time? It, it was really weird because I, I've never sang in front of anybody before. Yeah, ever. I, well, I had twice. There's two times <laughs> yeah. that I had, and both times were very negative experiences. <laughs> just because I, I, it just brought out a lot of insecurities in myself yeah. and in how I sounded. But I love singing, and so like from the moment. But no one knew that. No, but from the moment I had like my driver's license, I was amped to like sing in my car because I didn't have. Like, my house was pretty small growing up, so being yeah. in that little area, I, like, couldn't really sing without other people hearing me, my parents and whatnot, and so I never did, and so the car was, like, my place to escape, yeah. and I've just got, like, you know, a couple hundred voice memos on my phone of just trying different stuff and, and practicing and whatnot, um, but I, I never would have thought of singing in front of people, yeah. and that was something I was, I always would think, like, man, that would be so cool to do, yeah. but I just don't, like, have that at all, um, and then... Yeah, it was it was weird. There was a lot of like little events that led up to sending those voice memos. But I think yeah, the catalyst was kind of just you just overheard me while I was sweeping floors. <laughs> it was crazy, and and then so I, I hear these things like we should get in the studio sometime. And I think two weeks after that, um, I had a little party get together downtown Nashville, and I was like, Jacob, I need to ride home. <laughs> so he comes by, he picks me up, and I'm and I'm just just hanging. I'm like, hey man, we should just like get in the studio real quick. And so we come into this place and like, let's just write a song. What are you feeling right now? We kind of go back and forth. We come up with a few melodies and lyrics. And again, he's never sang before. And I'm like, you should just sing, man. Just get on the mic and sing. And he starts singing. I'm literally, guys, I'm like, yo, this dude's really good. Um, really good. And so 
we we kind of stopped there, and I was like, or, I mean, okay, we can we can cut there, but like, go, I go, this guy's really good. Um, we should actually take this like maybe serious and see what happens. So, yeah. um, a couple days later, a bunch of us are hanging out in the studio, and he he came to me. He's like, hey man, do you mind if we write more of like an upbeat song? I was like, come on man, let's do it. So we're it's like ten thirty at night. He's not expecting it. We have a bunch of friends hanging out, and our our friend Magic Rob is just like. Hey, let's do something. I was like, let's do something. So I come up with a guitar part. You know, he comes up with an idea. We all just kind of collaborate. There's so many people in the studio and we write this song and it's your first song ever. And it's about your life. Yeah. Which is crazy. It was a very, 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 very special moment for me to see him on the mic for the first time recording his vocals, real vocals for a song that we wrote for him that he was just like, I, I hope my grandma can hear this one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really it was really weird because yeah. it all happened really really fast. Yeah, uh, but it was it was a lot of fun and it was just it was such a cool environment to be in here. And I've seen for the last over a year, like I'll be sitting in one of the back chairs and listening to somebody else yeah. sing something or come up with different song concepts and whatnot. And so like being up here and having to actually have ideas <laughs> and <laughs> sing stuff and mess up and retry and like yeah. that was it was very surreal and weird. Um, but super grateful for it. And yeah, it's just been, it's weird. <laughs> yeah. So this is a, a clip of the song we recorded. Uh, how do you feel now that your song is going to be heard by anybody who wants to hear you? Are you nervous? Are you excited? I feel like everything's been going so fast. It's been hard to feel much of anything. I think the most exciting thing was um, before it released, I was able to take it back home yeah. and show some of my family. Wait, can you show that clip? Uh, yeah, I can okay. show a little clip here. Okay, watch this, guys. This is crazy. Who's singing it? Who's singing it? Me? You're singing that? Stop singing it. No way. That's so cool. That's so proud of you. That's that's cool. So it was it was like it was really cool. Like just having my mom hear me sing for the first time, or my grandmother, because like my whole family, um, no one's really in the creative space outside of me. But like my grandmother, for example, she was in like the original Sound of Music play, and like she she had this whole creative life. That she lived, um, but no one. In, I was even here, and no one else in your family did creative stuff. So you grew up in New right. Hampshire, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and no one did music. Right, no one at all. So it, it was like very unexpected. This this is unexpected this for everyone. This is unexpected for literally everyone. Like when Jacob came, he's like, "Oh, that's Tyler's assistant," and now he literally has his own Spotify page, own Apple Music page, his own song, <laughs> and we're like. And I, me and Rob are really excited to work with him. So we're just doing like, hey, man, we'll just record you, see what happens, and we'll go from there. Yeah. It's crazy. It's, it's, it is so weird. Yeah. Because I like, t I still sing the same, that, say, I still sing the <laughs> yeah. same that I did like a month ago or two months ago yeah. before I did anything. So to me, it's like, are you guys sure? Are you <laughs> like, sure I'm good? I don't, I'm not so sure. <laughs> um, but needless to say, like, it's been so special, I think, just to... Just start something new and something that's uncomfortable and then see, like, the people that you love around you really support you. Yeah. And, um, like, I, I think I'll always be able to cherish, no matter what, uh, like, the reactions of family and close friends. So when cool. I got to play it for the first time, like, you know, some people shed some tears or I, I don't know. It was just, it was Did really, you say, really like, special. a lot of your, like, guy friends called you when they were drinking? They're like, oh, my gosh, this yeah. is the best song ever. Yeah, I had some of my close <laughs> college buddies. They FaceTimed me in and they were all going wild <laughs> with the song. It was their first time hearing it, so that was uh, that was fun. It's been a it's been a wild experience, but yeah. And one of my favorite things to do this year has been like surprise people we're in the room with. Like we'll go to like a party or something, and or just a, a small gathering, and I'm like, guys, remember Jacob? Yeah, listen to this, and they'll hear, it, and their jaws are like, wait, this is Jacob? I'm like, yeah, I showed a friend today, and he's like, wait, this is Jacob? Yeah, and I was like, it's, yes. It's like one of the strangest parts about the experience has been all the like new friendships I've developed in Nashville over the last year. Yeah. Um, they all are musicians pretty much. I feel like I'm the only person that's not a musician mm -hmm. in most of our friends. We have like a couple friends that do different this or that, but the majority of people are involved in the music world in some way, yeah. except for me. Yeah. So then like having this happen randomly, it's been so strange. It's like, I guess yeah. I'm with you guys now too, you know? Yeah. It's cool. And then that kind of as a catalyst, even 
that moment was really special. It's like, I want to create more of this for other people and bring more opportunity from my experience just to be like, hey, let's just keep inviting people that we think have talent and have great songs. Let's help write them songs. Let's get them good productions. And then maybe like point them in a direction and send them on their way. So Yeah, I, I feel almost yeah. honored in a sense to be like one of the first people of yeah. many that will be able to come into this space and collaborate yeah. and be just so chill and inviting yeah. and like, a very warm environment. Like there's no awkwardness yeah. or people don't have to feel insecure about anything. Yeah, like, come as you I are. I could sit here are. and just completely hit a note wrong and yeah. feel fine. I'm like, we'll um, fix it, man. That's fine. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, right. So I, I'm excited more so for the opportunities that are ahead for this space yeah. and what's going to happen with this yeah. group of people that we have around. It seems, it's just a really special thing. So, and if you guys want to join um, kind of the process of that and, and be a part of that experience from the beginning, we started a Patreon basically to invite people to be a part of this community. And I mean, some of the tiers and some of the, the advantages of being on the Patreon is you can be in the space and actually write songs with us. If you're in Nashville or through Zoom or whatever, it's like be part of the creative experience and just kind of maybe, maybe you can even help write Jacob's like next big Hit. Hey, I, you don't know. I could take all the help I can get. <laughs> so, and, yeah. and just to kind of see an artist develop from beginning to end, I, or even to the beginning of their career, really, I yeah. think is, is just a fun process to be a part of. So, And that's even been a special thing yeah. to work on. Um, like, we started working on the Patreon stuff before I even sent yeah. you voice memos. Like, and just starting that like, we took a long time to think about, to really. think about and see what was going to be best and yeah. what kind of content and things would actually be useful yeah. to you guys. Um, and so it's a, that's and been it, really cool. It's amazing the timing too, because this couldn't have happened even four months ago or three months ago. And even in quarantine when everybody's going digital, it's like, I, I step back and I'm really excited now to start 2021 of like, oh, that was, that was more of like a reset to figure out. I mean, I would have known you sang if I would have pr pursued music in 2020. It's like right. now... I don't know. There's, there's a cool thing in like a family and a, and a, and a unit just to kind of like support and encourage each other. Yeah. So. And I mean, even we didn't even mention that, uh, like pr probably the same week that, uh, we did the whole voice memo thing and whatnot. Uh, we had a conversation where I was, I was looking to move to another city, maybe even oh, do yeah. some other stuff. The, I also would love for you to share that story. Like we had a conversation about you. Hey man, I don't think Nashville's for me. I have yeah. a job opportunity and is it North Carolina? Yeah. There was a job opportunity in Charlotte. Um, where I could have basically a desk job. Yeah. And desk job, desk job. Yeah. I was pretty certain I was going to do it too. Uh, because it just felt like the right move for me at the time. And things, things had slowed down a little bit here. Uh, cause you took a step back a little yeah. bit in 2020. And so I was like, I think I have to do what's best for myself and move on and do something different. And we had a real raw, honest conversation. It was, about it was that. tough. It was, it was good though. Yeah. It was needed. And then it, it is just wild how everything kind of all at once in each of our lives, like you, me, and so many other people that have been here and involved with this whole process. Um, so many things happen in each of our lives during that time that all intertwine together. Yeah. And it started something really beautiful, I think, and magical. And yeah. so it's, it's a totally different mood now where things are, it's like, ah, it's I can't fun. leave Nashville ever, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. It was, I was like, wow, I was working on like three projects today. Oh wait, oh, your song's coming out. Like right. we got to tell the people this is the best story ever. So yeah. Anyways, yeah, so thanks cool. for, for sharing. Thanks for having I don't me. Know I mean, to, I, yeah. I'm super grateful. I mean, yeah. I... You guys will see more of Jacob, too. Yeah. And, and I know that he was like, I don't know how to afford this or pay for, for the song that you guys have helped make. And we're like, dude, don't worry about it, man. And then he comes, just he's like, this really nice bottle of whiskey. He's like, can you guys accept this? And I was like, yeah, of course, man. I'll take it. Thank you for the pay, man. <laughs> you got to gotta find a way <laughs> to That's what they do in Nashville. Somehow. That's what they do in Nashville. Yeah, that's it. So, so. Um, guys, make sure you check out a song. Check out the links in the description below. Check, out a, check us out on Patreon. You'll see a lot more of Jacob. Even just around um, being helping with the Patreon, helping um, even respond to people and keep yeah. this thing in line as he continues to be an artist. And eventually, as he has his own feet going, we'll have to bring someone else in. And it's, uh, it's not just going to be content about me standing shell no. or fences. Or anything uh, like that. We're going to try and get it yeah. a little exciting around here. So it'll be fun. So stay tuned. All right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this video lives somewhere. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye.